we have to work uh, you know, at all levels, right from primary school to the colleges. We are working in this uh, country in 108 universities where it's being offered in many universities for, for credit, for students. Because see, it's, it should be part of our peace education. Peace education is, are you calm, are you serene, are you able to listen to the other po person's point of view? You know, what is your agenda and what are you going to achieve with what you envision for yourself? These questions need to be asked and these can happen when someone is sensible and sensitive to others' needs. Otherwise, peace is a far-fetched reality. So inner peace and outer peace can happen when we are more mindful, we are more aware of ourselves and aware of others' needs as well. You know, respect others. Uh, Mr. McGill uh, has said that, you know, just mention respect for other culture, embracing other culture, you know, honoring everybody. And this can happen when we only when we are free from stress. A stressed person does not even talk to their own family members. And the way to relieve stress is through breath. Breath is something which has been ignored from so long, though it is the first act of life, and it will be the last act of life. Then throughout life, we can